Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a makeup look for glasses. Lots of you guys have asked to see a video like this, so I wanted to get one up for you. The majority of time that I do have my glasses on, I have no makeup on whatsoever, but there are those occasions where you want to look pulled together and still be able to wear your glasses. Now the thing that I found is I have to have some kind of lower liner on my lashes, I mean on my eyes, or I just look super, super sleepy because I kind of have these larger frames with which compete with my eyes. So I like to smoke it up a little more. I definitely don't usually wear um, liner in my lower waterline, but today we're going to be doing that. Another thing, these glasses, lots of you guys asked where they're from. These are Michael Kors glasses, and I will put the style number down below. So if any of you guys wanna get these glasses, I don't care, we could be twinsies. We're just going to jump into the video. If you guys wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Thanks guys. Okay, so we're just going to jump in because I know that I'll probably just keep going. So. Um, I actually just have all my makeup in front of me. It's actually still in my beauty bag because I haven't unpacked anything yet because I'm lazy. <laughs> We're just going to basically speed through the normal parts that you guys usually see of me doing my foundation and um, concealer and stuff like that because I've showed you guys how to do that a million times in my videos and if you don't remember you can actually just go watch my recent get ready with me video and that will show you all the good stuff because I want to just jump into the main part which is the eyes. So I'm going to transform this face really quickly. Ha ha! The magic of editing. Oh, and if you can hear the music playing, that's Jeremy out there practicing. I'm just going to be using this drugstore quad from Maybelline, and this one is in Coral Oasis. I think I've mentioned this before. The main shadow that you need is just something a little bit darker because the frames that I have are pretty thick frames, so I like to make my eye a little darker, a little smokier. I feel like when I don't have any kind of shadow on my eyes or liner underneath my eyes that my eyes kind of just look really 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 tired and then they're competing with just these huge frames so I just want to add a little more life back to them. All you're going to need okay I'm not using that brush <sighs> pretty much the only color that I'm going to be using is this shimmery kind of a brown color and I'm just going to pack some of this onto my brush and then we're going to work this on our lid Then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and kind of just work out the line, work it up into the crease a little bit. And I'm just kind of going back and forth with the brushes. Kind of looks like I just got punched, right? <laughs> My voice is so raspy. So if you have really natural long lashes like I do, I found that the best way to get them to not hit your frames is to curl them twice so that they stay up and not like come out so much because the the thing that I hate most about wearing my glasses is when my lashes are like let us out. You know, they feel like they're trapped. So we're just going to curl them before mascara and after. And I'm just gonna load a bunch of mascara on. That is the worst when you blink. Have you ever done that? Like just hate your under eyes so hard and you blink so hard and then just smashes underneath your eye and then your eyes water and your makeup. <sighs> Those are the worst. That one wasn't so bad though. Okay, then the thing that I never do, I'm going to line my waterline and then we're going to smoke it out with a little bit of that brown liner underneath. The liner that I'm using is the L'Oreal Color Rich Eyeliner and this one is just obviously in black. And this mirror is all dirty and that is not the business.
And I'm just going to drag a little bit of this under my eye, like right in the corner. Kind of connecting my wing to it. And then use this little smudgy side, smudgy side, to kind of bring that over. Do the same to the other. Keeping it close. And bring it over. If you want to use a um, pencil brush with this, that's fine. I actually do like using these brushes for it. Um, this one's a Sedona lace brush, but it's similar to a MAC 239 brush. Um, just because I don't like it to be so... For me, the pencil brush doesn't like make it as smudgy as I want to, so I just like this brush. And then I just kind of fan it under here. So we're almost done. The only thing left that we have to do is curl our top lashes again. And I know that a lot of people don't recommend this, but this is usually the only way that I curl my lashes. I usually don't even touch them before. And I just give them a light little squeeze and then blink and they should come off perfect. You can pull your lashes out when you do it this way. So if you're nervous, don't do it. But if you're brave, just stick them in there. Give them a tiny little squeeze kind of blink and those should come off. So that is it for our eyes. I'm just going to throw on a lip color and this one is from Tarte Cosmetics and it is in, called Inspired. To top it off, this is Revlon's Supernatural. Remember, you can use any kind of eyeshadow color that you want. It's just I feel that you need to have something on your lower lash line, especially if you have thicker rims like I do. You need something to bring back attention to your eyes. Otherwise, you're just going to look like a sleepy little girl, and sometimes we don't want to look like sleepy little girls, right? It is a great look to keep you awake and still glamorous while wearing your specs. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think I have anything else to say, except I love you guys, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.